Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College. In this short screencast, we're going to talk about the different comparison operators as used with if statements, as well as compound assignment operators such as plus equals and multiply equals. Our good friends at W3Schools have really nice reference material on both of these things. With compound assignment operators, they've got the operators an example of how you might use them with x equal 10 and y equal 5, an explanation of how that compound operator is the same as this equation, and then uh, the result. And of course they have the wonderful try it buttons where you can see the code and here's my paragraph. I'm going to change the paragraph text so that x is 20 and then down here my script I'm going to change x equals 20 and then this my function is running when we click this button. So I'm going to run my code, click my try it button, and see that my text has changed and my answer has changed as well. So I love these little try it buttons because we can fiddle with our code, we can run it, and we can see the results in the other window. But let's unpack this just a little bit. The compound functions look like this in the code, and here I've got just a little script on my web page. I'm going to right click my web page, go into my console, so that I can log out information there and see how my JavaScript is running. But I've just got three variables here, x assigned to 10, y is assigned to 20, and z is assigned to 30. Now if I write a statement like this, z plus equal sign x, that's a compound assignment. And what that means is, z, you're now assigned to yourself plus x. For whatever reason, people are quite fond of writing code using this compound assignment operator, particularly when they're concatenating text and building a string. So it's really important to be able to understand what that statement is doing. If that statement doesn't trip your trigger and your brain would prefer this statement, then simplify it. There's absolutely nothing wrong. In fact, I think simplification and clarity is way underrated. If you prefer to write your statement like this, z is assigned to itself plus x, go for it. But you should know that these two statements are equivalent. Of course, if you want to get into things a little bit deeper, you would go to the MDN site, the Mozilla site, where all the operators are discussed. And under assignment operators, we not only have the simple assignment with the equal sign, we have all the compound assignment operators, and there are many, but they all pretty much work the same way as you can see in this right-hand column. x plus equals y is the most common, where we're taking x, we're adding y to it, multiply, subtract, divide, modulus, exponentiation, and then some other advanced operators work in the same logical way. So that's the compound assignment operator. Let's now look at our comparison operators. If you remember from math, you may have trouble saying to yourself, well, is this a greater than sign or is this a less than sign? And I can understand that because the symbol for greater than and the symbol for less than are exactly the same. It just depends on which side the big end is on. But that's what we have to remember. The big end should be on the side with the larger number. So when I put x greater than y in an if statement in JavaScript, that's going to evaluate to true or false. Inside the if statement, inside these parentheses, we always put an expression that evaluates to true or false. Now right now I've got x set to 10 and y set to 20, so x is not greater than y. So this console log statement is not going to run because this is going to evaluate false. And if I save my code and refresh it, I'm seeing nothing down here in my console. Let's flip it, and let's see if x is less than y, if the smaller point is pointing to the smaller number. If that's true, we're going to log out. I better change my message here to make sense. Console log x is less than y. I'm going to save, refresh, and there we go. In my console, this evaluated true, so this statement ran, and I got this message in my console less than or equal to is entered with the less than sign first and the equal sign second and that's kind of logical because that's how we would say it less than or equal to and save and refresh and I get 10 is less than or equal to 20. Here's an operator you might not be familiar with 
the exclamation point means not. And so that means if x is not equal to y, let's change our text. If that's true, if x is not equal to y, we're going to console log out this message. And x10 is not equal to 20. So that evaluates true. Now, here are the interesting ones in the comparison operators. Here are the ones that you want to be aware of. You never want to put a single equal sign in the parentheses of an if statement. Because remember what the single equal sign means. It's an assignment statement. And what you're saying here is, if x is assigned to y, and you're actually assigning it to y, that's going to always evaluate true. So I'm going to save that and change my text is assigned to. If x is assigned to y, and 20 is assigned to 20, because this makes x 20, because y holds 20 and you're assigning it into x, what you really meant probably is x equal to y, and that's two equal signs. This is one of the most common problems in JavaScript, is not knowing the difference between a single and a double equal sign. Single equal sign is a sign to. Double equal sign means are they equal to each other is equal to. Save and refresh, and we're not getting our message in our console anymore. So x is not equal to y. But here's a trick with the double equal sign. Back a few videos ago in this series, we talked about adding and multiplying numbers and strings. And we knew that JavaScript will attempt to convert a string to a number if it sees an operator such as multiply or divide that doesn't make sense with a string. Well, the same thing is true here. In this case, x is the number 10, y is the string 10. But with the double equal sign, we are going to see equality. Now, the number 10 and the string 10 are not equal to each other. But this is where JavaScript tries to help you behind the scenes. And sometimes that help can be confusing because number 10 and string 10 are clearly not equal. But in this process of evaluating this condition, JavaScript behind the scenes has converted string 10 to a number, and now they are equal. If I put a triple equal sign, that means check that both values are equal without doing any type conversion. So now when I save and I refresh, I'm not going to get a message in my console because x is not triple equal to y. x is only, save, refresh, double equal to y because one of those values has been converted to match. And that, my friends, is probably one of the biggest errors new JavaScript programmers make, and that is not understanding that a single equal sign means is assigned to, double equal sign means is equal to, including automatic type conversion, and triple equals means is equal to without any automatic type conversion. Thank you.